I've seen people talk about white people being racist, how white people react to black people, you know, especially when a black person is in the midst of lots of white people, how they treat them, how they're being racist, and all of those things. I've seen lots of videos about that. But this, I took so much interest in this because I really love to know how white people feel, how they are, you know, how they connect you know, when a white person is being the only black person in a black community or in a black gathering, when you're just a black person, white person in a black gathering, I really want to know, you know, how it feels like, you know, how they are being accepted. If black people are also being racist and all those things, I'm, I, that's why I took interest in this video. So this video is from BBC3. It's titled Life as a White Student in a 99% Black School in Segregated America. This is going to be fun, interesting, informative, and also, you know, um, insightful. My name is Oge If you're stopping by for the first time, hello. If you're seeing my beautiful face for the first time, hi. You know what? Click on the red subscribe button because you're going to love it here. Like this video. Drop a nice comment so it's important you watch through to the end, okay? Um, turn on your post notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop a new video. Thank you to all my returning subscribers and viewers. You guys are amazing. Do not forget to turn on post notification if you haven't, okay? So you get notified anytime I drop a new video. Today's video is from BBC3. It's titled to life as a white student in the 99% black school in segregated America. Let's get straight into it. Here we go. I am one of the only white people here at this school. This is a school that's 99% African American. 99% African American. Okay, and like she's one of the few, very few um, white people in this school. We still have a white school and a black school uh, in Orangeburg. One is public and one is private. OW to me is kind of, you know, divided. Every person you see is, you know, black, 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 black. I wanted to make sure that you were felt safe. I moved around my whole life, mm -hmm. Dr. Peters, you know, like I am, I do have that adaptive mm -hmm. personality. She's staring at me. Stare right back at her. <laughs> it makes me feel like there's something wrong with me. You know? <laughs> really? Oh, she feels like everybody's staring at me. You know, I know that feeling. I've been in the garage, you know, it's in a certain way, I'm just the only black woman there. And then everybody said, I know that feeling. So everybody, especially in high school, where everybody's looking at, oh, who's this girl? Okay, who's this girl? Who's this girl? She's the only white person. So it makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable, which I think it's understandable for her. Really uncomfortable feeling. It isn't about somebody's skin color that makes them who they are. It's about how they act and how they carry yeah. themselves and their morals and values. Smart. The school system here has become extremely segregated. Where OW, at the thousands of students that are there, you could probably count on your hands and toes the number of, of Caucasian students. So she and I decided together that you know what, we're only two little people and a we little can, small we can start place, a chain but we reaction. can make a difference. You know what, we want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Okay. I could be on OP's campus, Orangeburg Prep's campus, probably within eight minutes. I mean, we're that close. You probably have more opportunities if you go to the private school than you do if you go to OW. OW has a reputation. That reputation has been what about OW? Uh, just, it, it seems ghetto. And right. So as a ghetto school. We just like hear stuff like through like talk of other people, and that doesn't always mean it's true. But it's just what you think of when people tell you all that stuff. So we don't mingle. Like I would see none of y'all like on a regular basis on the weekends. Like no time. Like the only the only people I really notice like. Caucasian. I can count how many people like um, my orthodontist. <laughs> you know? I mean, we went on a tour to Clemson for like a college tour. I was shell shocked. 
It was white people everywhere. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to say to them. I didn't know what to do to them. I, just, I was just like, you know, I didn't know how to talk to them. I didn't know how to approach them. It was like a glass of milk, and I was like a pepper. I felt, that's, that's how I felt. That's how I felt. Nobody in my family is racist, but I don't know what they would say if I bought like a white girl home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they're about, they're about. It's good to raise children in an environment when where they understand that you are not identified by your skin color, right? You are not identified by how you look or your skin tone. It's very important. It's very healthy because I mean this is 2024, right? We are mixing. And we find our play ourselves just like this girl. We find ourselves in different places. We need to raise healthy children, children that you know that understand what racism is and not to be racist and treat people equally, not based on their skin color or what they have or what not. Yeah, they're, okay. probably, they're probably like, hold up now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's not it's not it's not the fact that my family is racist, it just be Weird. I would feel weird bringing it, you know what I'm saying? I don't think my parents will like it because they were born in a different time or whatever, but I don't think it should be that way. What's next? Do you walk away and say, okay, we had a good experience with those black kids from OW? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not that bad. You know, you go home and say, Mom, guess what? I met this guy, Cordell. He was cool, you know? <laughs> I mean, he didn't try to beat me up, you know? Hornsbury just segregated. <laughs> I think the breakfast allowed OP and OW students to say their views, but I knew for sure we wasn't gonna change the world with that conversation. Or we wasn't gonna change Orangeburg with that conversation. What do you guys think about having segregated schools where we have schools for white kids and schools for black kids? What do I think about that? I think it's okay, it's good, it's healthy to bring them together and make them understand that, you know, you are not defined by your skin tone or color. It's okay to have different colors, it's okay to come from different races, but we are one person, there's no white privilege, no one is more privileged than the other. You know, you, you have to work hard to earn whatever you want to earn, okay? I think it's actually a good thing. It will change the world in the long run. In the long run, things will get better. If kids begin to have, you know, this mindset and begin to accept each other and love each other and care for each other, you know, not based on your skin tone or color, which I think is beautiful. What do you guys think in the comment section? Let me know your thoughts. Your comments and all you think about this video. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and turn on your post notification button. I'll see you in my next episode. Bye bye.